same distance so I'm not sure what that's all about okay so I went to worldwide supermarket today and worldwide is um, let me show you the back of the receipt so worldwide food stores it's a it's a halal food store it's, I think it's Indians that own it. Indian slash Muslim slash whatever, I'm not sure. But there are lots of Indians in there. Okay, so um, I got lemon cakes because I needed a snack because of my sweet, my sweet tooth. So I got the lemon fairy cakes. They are mini cakes. They're very small. Um, but I hope it will satisfy me. If I like it, I'll definitely go back again to get it. All right. Um, and I got in this bag, they let us put fruit. So I got cherries, like a bag. Just a little bag of cherries. <laughs> okay. And I found that the fruit there was much cheaper than other places. I got a whole bag of apples and this bag of apples was for one pound and 29 cents. And how many is in this bag? Three, four, six, eight, ten. Ten apples for one pound and 29 cents. Not bad. So, um, and then I got oranges, so I took up four oranges, um, this wasn't bad either, I think this is for 50 pence, four oranges for 50 pence, not bad, okay, I got this, uh, this one for snack, it's wafers, because I love wafers, <laughs> Well, I got this one for snack. It says sugar-free, so hopefully it will help me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then I got grapes because, you know, I love grapes. And these grapes were cheaper there also. Yeah. Let me see. I'm not seeing the grapes here. But I remember seeing this and saying that it was cheaper than the others. All right, here we have one grapefruit, just one. And this is the red grapefruit. And then I got lychee. These are lychees. Some people call it leeches. No, they are not leeches. <laughs> lychees, yay. So I got a whole bag of lychee and I love, oh, let me try to show you, oh, it's falling out. So I love lychee, love it. All right, so love my lychee. Oh, the lychees were for one pound 43 pence. I'll definitely go back for some more because I love lychees. 
Okay, and then for my hair and my skin, I got the henna um, hair dye. It's an all natural hair dye. I, I use henna like maybe once per quarter, sometimes twice a year, three times a year, it just depends. I feel like my hair needs it because like I said before, my hair has been a bit uh, frizzy. The weather here is cold and wet and my hair is just not used to it. So I'm gonna go back to my Indian products. I used to use Indian products religiously <laughs> every month, like, you know, every time I want to deep condition and give my hair a good treatment, I always get Indian products. My Amala oil, which is a green oil that I use, I have it there, my Amala oil, and I use henna, and I would uh, treat my hair with henna every two months every three months sometimes um i used to do it as often as every month to strengthen my hair i may go i may start doing that because i want my hair to get stronger so it strengthens my hair and this is natural hair um, and it of course turns it like really rich jet black just because of its properties when i was younger i did not really do it for the hair color, I did it for the strengthening properties, but now I don't have a problem uh, dyeing my hair black. So, so I get two benefits from it. All right, so, and I always use Fatika because Fatika is, for me, a very popular brand in India. So that's the one I use. I have, I use other oils too, and powders. I use the Shikakai powder to wash my hair um what other powder did i use i would use amla powder because there's an amla oil and they have amla powder and then i would use there's other powders i just can't remember it just just google indian hair powders or indian hair oils and then you'll see the only indian hair oil that i don't use is coconut oil because my hair does not absorb coconut oil as well as i would like it to okay so that's it and then i got this one neem oil i actually used it i bought neem powder before and i used a little in my hair and a little in my face on my face rather when i'm doing a clay mask i will put a little neem powder in the clay mask you know for its properties but um this neem oil is good for let me see here it says neem oil may be beneficial for skin conditions such as acne psoriasis eczema ringworm warts um it also has anti-aging effects you know it takes away wrinkles um skin redness water loss effective in promoting wound healing and fighting skin infections all right so this neem oil neem oil has a very pungent smell so what you can do you can mix it with carrier oils like jojoba oil coconut oil almond oil olive oil you can mix it with those carrier oils and put it in your hair if you want to especially if you have scalp issues you can put it in your hair um, not in your hair, sorry, on your scalp. And then if you have um, acne, if you have psoriasis, I know a lot of people have eczema on their skin, you can use the neem oil to treat it. Just remember to dilute it with carrier oil, okay? And that's it. That's what I bought at Worldwide today. And I spent 21 pounds and what? 47 pence. 21 pounds and 47 pence. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so not bad worldwide. Um, the price is not bad. I actually bought apple cider vinegar. Hold on. Hold on. Where's my other bag? I bought apple cider vinegar and I bought... Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay, so I found my bag. Uh, these are glass bottles. So I put it in my 
handbag I would say just a, a handbag that I take when I'm going around um, so I forgot to take it out just now so apple cider vinegar I use this um, sometimes I dilute it and put it in my hair when I'm washing my hair between washing and treating my hair I put this in then I put the treatment on top then I deep condition my hair and then wash it out all right but apple cider vinegar is very good for balancing the acidity of your hair am i saying that right the ph balance rather yeah of your hair it's very good i also use it sometimes in the mornings so there are times when i get up in the morning and i feel groggy like i have not had a good night's sleep and i will take like one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to half a cup of water and i'll drink it and i would eat anything until about an hour later and that helps to clarify anything in your body um to, it also helps to um get your inside of your body you know ph balanced and also for me it helps to lower my blood sugar i don't have a blood sugar problem but anytime i eat too many sweets the next day i always feel a bit groggy and you know lackadaisical so this helps yeah so just a tip apple cider vinegar and then I got this one. I see a lot of people walking around campus with this long, tall bottle of water. And I said to myself, who's where they get this water from? <laughs> and it is a glass bottle. It's a water bottle. So they sell still water and sparkling water. And of course, the name, as you can see there, is Voss. It's an Indian brand, actually and um this one is a still water because i don't drink sparkling water and this wasn't bad this was what one pound 80. one pound 80. and when you've finished drinking the water you can keep this glass bottle it's, it's very heavy it's very good you know so i was thinking of getting this for my water bottle while i'm here it's heavy so i don't want to walk around with it but i'll keep it here as my water bottle but I like it, so I got it. <laughs> and that, so that's what I got from Worldwide. But I, before Worldwide, I stopped and got candy. Da, da, da. And that's it. So. <laughs> yep, so that's all from me, guys. Another grocery haul. So take care and stay tuned for more. Welcome back everyone to another weekday with me. <laughs> For those who are new, my name is Venice Irving and these are my vlogs. This is where I show you my everyday life as I live in the UK. I like to document these experiences. For now, all I've been doing is, uh, is just giving grocery hauls because that's all I've been doing, buying grocery and eating and doing assignments that's it <laughs> okay so until classes start and classes will start in the next two weeks so i'll take you along for the ride when classes start but for now i'll just show you what i've bought <laughs> all right so uh the first thing i got this morning today is monday and the first thing i got was a package from Tatcha. Okay, so for those who don't know, I love Tatcha. I've been using Tatcha for years, like years. Um, and they always send me great products. So this is what the inside look like. And I always get a handwritten letter. So let me read it to you. It says, Dear Venice, thank you so much for choosing the starter ritual and the lip mask. We're honored to care for your skin. Did you know that by caring for your skin with Tatcha in Manchester, you're helping students around the world? Every Tatcha purchase supports education equality worldwide through our Beautiful Faces, Beautiful Futures program. I hope you enjoy using your new formulas this winter. 
Your happiness is our highest priority with gratitude, Tatcha. Listen, you can't get more personalized than that. I mean, listen. <laughs> yeah. All right. And they also send me this one because I qualified for the lucky bag. And I'm going to show you what is in the lucky bag. But it says, thank you for celebrating the new year with us. That's the Chinese New Year, guys. Um, we hope you enjoy all the treasures in the lucky bag and discover new formulas to complement your existing ritual. All right. And here's a QR code where I can get a consultation if I so desire. And in this envelope, it says, inside every touch of formula lives a tiny symphony of superfoods, amino acids and AHAs called Hadesse 3. I think that's how you pronounce it. This proprietary complex of twice fermented rice, green tea, and algae is rooted in the nutrient-dense Japanese diet, largely considered the healthiest in the world. So there you go. Thank you, Tatcha. Okay, so one thing I love about Tatcha is that um, they personalize every shipment they make it seem as if you're buying a gift for yourself and they make you feel like a part of the family i love tatcha for that okay so i got some samples i got the rice polish the gentle rice polish this is an ex exfoliator so i got that and i got the liquid silk canvas this is supposed to be a primer so you put this on your skin before you put on makeup. And then I got the silk cream, which is a moisturizer. So these are just samples. I've never gotten the large box. Yeah, I've never gotten the large size. Oh yeah, I got the large size in this one and it was good. It was good. It's a powder. The, the rice polish is like a powder. And then you put a little water in it and mix it together and it exfoliates your skin very well. Okay, so here we have what inside the box looks like. Let me show you. So it is beautifully decorated. Uh, so here we have the Tatcha, the uh, Kisu Lip Mask. Let me put it up closer. So you guys can see okay and i bought this because it is winter time i mean it snowed today guys that's how cold it is it snowed today when i went outside um so yeah i took it out of the package this is what it looks like and then i got a little gold spoon to scoop it out it's so cute right so this is nice um there's another lip mask that's very popular so i didn't get that one i got this one i can't open it it's sealed too tight but here you go tatcha pretty right so this one is supposed to you're supposed to put it on your lip and i think sleep with it it's supposed to be like an overnight mask. Yeah. It says, this ultra soothing Japanese peach jelly smooths plumps and helps restore overnight for soft lips. So you're supposed to put it on overnight and then it's supposed to work. So I'm going to try that. That's the first time I'm going to try those products. And then I got the starter ritual. Um, I think I've gotten this, yeah, I think I got this one already. Let me take it off. I think I, I took this kit already. Yeah. So this is it. The starter ritual. The bottles look a bit smaller though. Hmm. Okay, so the cleansing oil, it's very good. And that's what I've been using now for the past couple of years. I started using cleansing oils. 
um, I was introduced to cleansing oils in Taiwan a long time ago and now I think I've been I, I've incorporated it into my routine my my wash when my when I wash my face and stuff so my skincare routine has cleansing oils so I have this one and there's another Japanese oil that I use every day uh, regularly and it helps my skin to um, keep moisturized and of course make my skin smoother plumper and um, you know helps me keep it looking young which is good then we have the rice polish I just told you about the rice polish just now I got the sample one for gentle but this one is the classic rice polish so this helps to exfoliate the skin then this is the silk cream oh the silk cream I got the I got the sample for this one so now I have the actual product so this is a moisturizer and then this is the essence that is there and then this is the silky peony I have no clue what that is but it is supposed to be for winter uh, skin to help with winter skin so it should help with getting my skin moisturized so thank you Tatcha I am grateful oh it says firming and brightening set for normal to dry skin okay thank you Tatcha and then this is the gift which is the lucky bag. I try to get the lucky bag every year. And I kid you not, these products last me the entire year. <laughs> they last me for the entire year. Go figure. So even though they look small and they come in small packages, it really lasts a long time. A little goes a long way okay so i took it out of the bag and it came like this wrapped in tissue paper <laughs> all right and then oh i love these oh my goodness thank you tatcha okay so so this is the one i got i had this one before the indigo it's so good i bought the big one like this before and I love it. Indigo Overnight Repair. I loved it. So this one is really, really good. It's like a skin moisturizer. You put it on your face, go to sleep, and when you wake up, it's supposed to you know, work like magic. <laughs> so thank you, Tatcha, for this one. Okay, so the Silk Canvas. Ooh, this one is a primer that I can use under my makeup and i was just saying to myself i need a primer because i put on makeup yesterday and i had to use let me tell you what i use for the primer my makeup bag is right here i put it in i don't know where it went but I, oh here it is i had to use this one baby skin instant pore eraser let me put it up closer all right, so I use this one as a primer because this one could be used as a primer, but I didn't like it as a primer at all. And I said to myself, mm, self, I need a primer. So I'm going to try Tatcha's primer. Hopefully you can see it. I'm not putting it up close to the camera. Yeah, so now you can see it. And let me show you Indigo again. Hopefully you can see it better. Yeah, so these products are great. Thank you, Tatcha. This one is excellent too. Thank you, Tatcha. I bought the big one. Yes, I had the, I had the big one before. So this is the Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Ah! Loved it, love it, love it. So this one is great. And Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I didn't have the mist. As a matter of fact, I still have the big bottle right now. Hold a sec and I'll come back and show you. Okay, so I'm back. So this is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist that I got in my gift bag. But I actually have <laughs> this one. 
the luminous deep hydration firming serum and let me tell you let me put it close up this one trust me it works man it, this is magic in a bottle so i'm really excited to try this one this is just a mist that you can spray on your face and this is the actual serum but this is very good but thank you for this touch up this one is finishing actually so i'm glad i got another one because this one is almost done but i love my touch up products can you tell <laughs> all right then i got some more samples so i got the foaming enzyme powder oh this is another rice polish but it's the foaming foaming enzyme powder so this one is deep rice polish deep and then i have where is this one oh, i don't know where it is and this is the rice polish gentle and then in my box i have the rice polish classic so i have the three rice polishes all right here's another one rice polish gentle listen to me now rice polish classic <laughs> so they just gave me three rice polish <laughs> Is it this? Okay. Just they just gave me the three rice polishes as samples in my gift bag. And when I say gift bag, I mean that all of these small mini products, all of them were free. Like I do I did not pay for any of these. And these are expensive products, right? I'm I'm not kidding. These these are all expensive products. So when I'm done, it will be the end of the year again. So they do this every year. They, they give out the lucky bag and it shows you what is inside your lucky bag. And it has a list of everything there, including the ingredients and how you can use it. Listen, I'm sold. Tatcha had me at hello. So. <laughs> so I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I may do some reviews on this channel because there's nothing else that I'm doing right now. And I'm sure you're tired of the grocery hauls. So, <laughs> so yeah, thank you, Tatcha. I am surprised and can't wait to use them as usual they never disappoint me all right so that's tatcha so now let me show you what i got another grocery haul i went back to the indian store because i loved i loved um I went there the last time and I decided to go back. So this is worldwide again. The last the last video before this, I went to worldwide for the first time. Loved it. So I went back again and I found, actually, I found some Jamaican products. I, saw, I found saltfish, ackee, and some Jamaican seasoning and some other Jamaican things, you know. But yeah. Yeah, and they had things like chocho, yam, uh, green banana. Um, they had the white yam and the yellow yam. Uh, what else did they have? Guineps. They had guineps. I didn't buy it, but I was like, what? They had guineps. Um, they had lychee. But, yeah. I went there this time around. I didn't have it, but anyway so let me show you what i got today i got fruits um tangerines so i just got another bag of tangerines i got soap <laughs> antibacterial of course smells so good um Mm, smells so good but about antibacterial soap 
and this is what I usually use to wash my hands because uh, COVID is, is still around people. COVID has not gone anywhere. And therefore, we still have to make, make sure that we're still washing our hands often and regularly. I got this potato chip. I haven't eaten potato chips in years. But I saw this and it looked so yummy. And I said, you know what, let me try. And I, of course, I won't eat this off all at once. I'll take a little, but you know, a little at a time for snack. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put it down. All right, I also got, oh, I got these grapes. These are the weirdest looking grapes I've ever seen. Uh, who has seen grapes like these before? I don't even know if they're grapes or if they are. They have another name. It's weird, huh? Look again. So weird. So I saw them and I said, hmm, let me take them and taste and see. And maybe I can incorporate it in my in my uh, food supply. Okay, so I got a cucumber. I bought mixed herbs. I bought it in this bag because I have the empty bottle. My mixed herbs just finished. So I'll just open this and put it in. Okay. And then I bought thyme. They had fresh thyme there, but I just decided to get this one instead. I can't be bothered. Okay, this looks like it's uh oh, it's open. Mm, smells nice. I didn't check to see if it was open or not, so I have to put it in a bag. So right here is burst a bit. Um, but I got I need to put it in a bag, but let me show you first. Before I put it in, hold on a second. Okay. So let me just show you what I got. I got the Fatika Herbal Enna, Henna um, with intensive hair conditioning powder with fragrant sandalwood and rose. So that's what I got. And it does smell good. It, it really does smell good. So I bought the, the henna before, like the previous video. I bought the henna and I did it. I did it in my hair yesterday and henna never disappoints me. If you need a strengthening treatment for your hair, henna is the way to go. The only thing with henna is when you use henna by itself, the hair can tends to get a bit dry so you can put oils with it when you are mixing it put oils in it i like to put um amla oil i don't know if i have my amla here where's my amla yes it is ah here it is so i like to mix amla oil with my henna and other oils too, olive oil, things like that. I don't use coconut oil in my hair, but if you do, you can add coconut oil to it. And yeah, mix it, leave it for a little while for the powder, whatever is in the powder to activate, the properties to activate, and then you can put it in your hair. I keep it overnight, so I sleep in it. I put like bags, like these bags <laughs> on my hair tie it up and then i sleep with it and then i wash it out in the morning it works every time so my hair is much better after just one treatment i can feel the strength also i don't see a lot of the hair coming out when you know when you comb your hair you see hair falling out um sometimes it's natural shedding and then sometimes you, you realize that it's just coming out too much so when i use henna religiously like continuously I, I i don't see as much hair coming out as normal you know so yeah i like to use henna and i like to use the alma oil 
very good too. And the amla is done, is used for deep conditioning. So that's a tip for you. Okay, I went back to get the lemon fairy cakes. I bought it before in the previous video, loved it. So I bought another pack. Um, and then I bought this one. So this is an additional oil that I will use along with the amla. Okay, so this one is the Shikakai hair oil. Bef in the previous video, I said that I used the Shikakai hair powder to wash my hair, and it was good. It really helped my hair. And it washed it, it really cleansed my hair. So I decided to get this so that when I'm mixing my henna, this will be an oil that I'll put in, then the amla, then maybe I'll put in olive oil and other oils, mix it in, um, put a tip of water, hot water. I like to put hot water in and mix it, mix it until it becomes a bit thick in consistency. And then I leave it for a while, maybe about 30 minutes to an hour so that the properties can be activated and then I put it in my hair. Sometimes too, I would put lemon, like a half a lemon in. Not, no, not so much. Maybe a tablespoon or a teaspoon of lemon yeah and it, it works it works so yeah so here we have the shikakai hair oil and um yeah it's supposed to help the hair to get strong um Okay, so I think that's it. Oh, and the last thing I got were oh, pads. And then that's it. So let us look at our receipts and see how much I paid. So the last time I was at Worldwide, I paid 21 pounds. This time around, I paid 22 pounds and 29 pence. So not bad, not bad. Um, could be a little cheaper, but, oh no, this is spoiled. Why did I take up the ones that were spoiled? Okay, I have to eat these tangerines because I took up the, the spoiled ones. Ah. All right, so that's it. Sorry, guys, I don't have anything else to show you. I'm not leaving my my apartment or my flat um, to go anywhere because it's exam times now. Um, so other persons have gone to do their exams. I am stuck on dorm doing assignments and it's just trying to get these assignments out. Um, and our next class will be starting next in the next two weeks so as classes begin again and then i start to go out more then i'll take you out with me okay so bear with me all right guys thank you for watching Bye.